Welcome to the intriguing world of The Edge of Night, a 1956 TV series that captivated audiences with its gripping blend of mystery and drama. Set against the backdrop of a fictional city, Monticello, this show took viewers into the lives of its diverse characters, each hiding their own secrets and entangled in a web of mysteries. Amidst the unfolding drama and suspense, viewers found themselves engrossed in the complexities of these characters' lives, making it a challenge to pick a favorite among the myriad of roles portrayed. Did a particular character's story resonate with you the most? Perhaps it was the enigmatic attorney, Mike Carr, or the formidable and sharp Nancy Pollock. With a multitude of personalities, each actor brought a unique flair to their role, leaving a lasting impact on the viewers. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What was your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this timeless series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to these characters and their stories adds depth to the legacy of The Edge of Night. Join the conversation and let's unravel the mysteries of Monticello together. The Edge of Night, a groundbreaking TV series that premiered in 1956, revolutionized daytime television by introducing a blend of crime drama and soap opera elements. Set in the fictional city of Monticello, the show initially centered on attorney Mike Carr's investigations into mysteries and criminal cases. This fusion of legal drama with thrilling mysteries captivated audiences and set the stage for a unique narrative style that would define the show's legacy. Over time, the series evolved, intertwining multiple storylines and introducing a rich tapestry of characters, each with their own intricate arcs and secrets. Iconic characters like Mike Carr, the dedicated and tenacious attorney, and the enigmatic Raven Whitney, whose complexities and scheming ways kept viewers hooked, became synonymous with the show's allure. The series cleverly navigated various genres, incorporating elements of crime-solving, romance, and suspense, setting a benchmark for storytelling innovation on television. Its impact on popular culture was immense, as it pioneered the concept of a serialized drama format during daytime hours, paving the way for future shows to explore long-form storytelling. The Edge of Night also left an indelible mark by showcasing the versatility and depth of daytime television, pushing boundaries, and captivating audiences with its gripping narratives and memorable characters. Though the show concluded its run in 1984, its legacy endures, remembered fondly for its trailblazing narrative style, compelling characters, and the way it redefined the possibilities of daytime television. The Edge of Night, a daytime TV series that debuted in 1956, holds a unique distinction within Procter & Gamble Productions. Unlike their other soap operas airing on CBS or NBC, this was the sole show produced by them to grace ABC screens. Its origin story is intriguing originally conceived as a television adaptation of the popular radio drama Perry Mason. It faced a hurdle when rights were denied due to the unassured romantic independence of key characters. Created by Irving Vendig, previously involved in writing the weekday radio drama Perry Mason, this series took shape in the fictional city of Monticello, forging its own path in the realm of daytime television. Notably, it served as a launching pad for Marcia Cross's career. Her beginnings on this show marked a significant step in her journey toward future successes. The Edge of Night, a pioneer in daytime serialized drama, thrived on ABC, showcasing gripping narratives and memorable characters that endure in the annals of television history. When it debuted, The Edge of Night wasn't called Fatit was originally titled The Edge of Darkness during the pre-production phase. A significant name change before airing set the stage for a groundbreaking TV series that would revolutionize daytime television. The show took viewers to the fictional city of Monticello, introducing a blend of crime drama and soap opera elements. Throughout its run, it evolved through intricate storylines and characters, captivating audiences with its gripping narratives and memorable personalities. In 1961, a pivotal episode led to an unexpected flood of calls to CBS. Teal Ames' character's death prompted such a response that both Ames and John Larkin appeared the next day to reassure viewers that only the character had died, not the actress herself. Such was the impact and connection viewers had with the show's characters. Later in the series, Stephen Markle portrayed Ted Loomis, a corrupt cop turned serial murderer. Fans were taken aback by Loomis' popularity despite his evil persona. 
The producers, concerned about this unexpected fandom for such a dark character, made the decision to write him out by killing the character. This move shocked and outraged fans who were invested in Loomis' chilling storyline. These unexpected turns and audience reactions marked significant moments in the Edge of Night's history, showcasing its ability to elicit strong emotions and engagement from its dedicated viewership. The Edge of Night, a 1956 TV series, holds a notable distinction in television history. It was the first daytime drama to depart from one broadcast network to continue its run on another network. This move marked a significant shift in the show's trajectory, showcasing its resilience and adaptability within the television landscape. Transitioning from one network to another presented both challenges and opportunities, demonstrating the series' enduring appeal and ability to maintain its audience despite the change in broadcasting platforms. The show's move from CBS to ABC in itself signified a milestone, as it continued to captivate viewers despite the transition. Notably, this shift occurred in a period when television production methods were also undergoing a transformation. The Edge of Night became one of the last American daytime soap operas to transition from daily live broadcasts to taped episodes, making the switch in the fall of 1975. This shift in production methods reflected the evolving practices within the television industry, showcasing the series' adaptability to new technologies and formats while retaining its narrative allure. Moreover, the skyline featured at the beginning of the show, depicting Cincinnati, Ohio from Kentucky, held a significant connection to the series. Cincinnati served as the headquarters of Procter & Gamble, the show's longtime sponsor. This visual link between the show's opening and the sponsor's location further emphasized the collaborative relationship between production and sponsorship, a common practice in television during that era. The Edge of Night's ability to transition between networks, adopt new production methods, and maintain its narrative appeal throughout these changes solidified its place in television history. Its resilience and adaptability in navigating shifts in both storytelling and production approaches contributed to its enduring legacy. As our journey through the enigmatic world of the Edge of Night draws to a close, take a moment to delve into the personal canvas this series has painted in your life. Reflect on the characters, the intricate plots, and the emotional roller coaster that this iconic 1956 TV series brought to your screen. Perhaps it stirred nostalgia, sparked intellectual debates, or even carved a special place in your heart. Your connection to this timeless show is as unique as the storylines it weaved. Share your cherished memories, your lingering thoughts, or the lessons it imparted. Let the magic of the edge of night transcend time and continue resonating within you. Your perspective enriches the tapestry of experiences woven by this series, adding depth and meaning to its enduring legacy. So, as we bid adieu to the captivating tales, your voice becomes a part of the grand narrative it created. Thank you for opening up your world and sharing your thoughts on the edge of night. Your contribution breathes life into its cherished existence, making it an eternal gem for aficionados and newcomers alike. Your time and passion are truly appreciated.